Bro was laid up on her legs, watching a movie. Come on, come on. Bro was sitting there, laid up in her bed. I want to see the best for you. Thank you. But I can't mess with you. It's you not sane, you. and I you're crazy. I know. You know you're crazy, I but know. go fix it. When I was with you, the car broke, and I've been messing with dude for mad long, and you know that, and never got pregnant, but when you come back around, I get pregnant. It's, it's not dude's baby. Sitting here, bro, was laid up on her leg, watching a movie. Show, show them the picture. Come on, come on. Right, show them the picture. Show them the picture. Show them the picture. Bro, was sitting there, laid up in her bed. He wasn't even in my bed. Laid was, up on her leg. He was off my. He was watching he was a movie at two in the morning. He was in my bed. Why is she acting so calm about this? She just cheated on him and is acting like nothing happened, even though there's photo proof. Okay, you do get the shot. I dare you to. Uh, Flash my man in the corner. The last time I went to a club, I flashed the whole bar, and my boyfriend chased me for oh, hours. Oh, that's my boyfriend doing that. That's my boyfriend. Oh, she can't hang on off the tequila. All right. You kiss her. That's the simple thing. She belongs to the street. I feel bad for the boyfriend. You can tell this man is emotionally tortured every single day he's with her. Why in the hell do women don't want the men to cheat, but they'll go to work and oh, cheat with their co-workers? First of all, a that's work what I'm husband. Talking about. They 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 you, your work husband covering your break. Yeah. Is your is your is having a work husband cheating? Yes. Or, yes. or excuse me, once I get uh uh wasn't done. Or is that just men protecting women, right? Like when I come to stuff. work, Peter, <laughs> Peter. When I come to work, you know, you make sure my my salmon is 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 in already in the microwave. That was sweet. Or you told me about the just about to get fired. You told me it wasn't me. Thank you, <laughs> Rodney. It doesn't that necessarily is. mean I'm. No, I'm those true. those intimate conversations and intimate actions can be classified as cheating if the person receiving it feels never like, oh, no, I got a pot. Y'all ain't never had no friendships with men, and it shows. Peter, yes or no? Is it inappropriate? Is it inappropriate okay, okay, okay. to flirt with a coworker so that he go get you a meal or cover a break? At if, if in a relationship, absolutely it's inappropriate, but sometimes as black women, we were taught to survive. <laughs> you know what? Go! 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 No! 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 Having a work, anything is cheating. I'm sorry, I don't know how people can defend this. If you needed any more inspiration to start working out, then this clip was definitely for you. Fight through the pain. Oh, you alright? Got money bags. Alright, come in, yeah, help you make yourself at home. What are you spending a grand on the kids? Well, whatever money I do have, I want to spend on my kids. Or no, no. Is, is it not bad enough that you've already got them on Christmas Day with your little Maggie Tracy, whatever oh. it is? Oh no, go to your dad's and his new girlfriend's on Christmas Day while they shower you with gifts while I'm sat here with 200 quid limit. It makes me look Oh, come on. And I take him to school every day, but you want a glory hunt. Yeah, look, I want to spend money on my kids. What's so bad about that? If I've got the money there to treat them, no, why not? No, we need an agreement. Look, sometimes my work takes me away and that's what's paying for these presents, all right? Look, and it's my own kid. I want it's my money. I work hard for it. You want to go and work, work harder and get yourself a better job? That's your fault. I fault would you, work isn't it? harder if I could get childcare off you, but you don't give it to me. Oh, look. And you can be happy with the amount of money I'm giving you, but now I'm spending it on the kid. So that's actually saving you money. You don't have to buy him this stuff now because I can buy it. You're making me look like a dog. Oh, you could have at least given me 200 quid or something and said, you know what, make your presents well, a bit Well, I want to make sure it's actually no. going straight to him and not spending on anything else. Like what? Well, all your bummy makeup and products, stuff, all the beauty uniforms. salons, hairdressers, all this other crap that you're spending on. I've not had what? my hair done for two years. Oh, give up it. Wow, someone sounds selfish and jealous. I care for you as a person. I want to see the best for you. Thank you. But I can't mess with you. It's not safe, Keep it's not sane, and you're that. crazy. I know. You know you're crazy, I well know. go fix it. I'm working but on it. You're not gonna fix it with me. I'm working on it. We need this to happen way more often because rejection can come off as toxic sometimes. You just try to say right now, you out here filming on because it was a negative thing, but you just sit here proudly said that you're a Okay, so what does that mean? No, what the 
No, because listen. Like, I, does that make listen, sense to you? Listen, I retwisted it. <laughs> he being him unconditionally. I don't judge. You I don't judge. I don't judge nobody for So you ain't that. just judge us right now by sitting there trying to call us that like we you just said right now, oh I said all we've been you said that I get a negative context. I said it like this. I said you can't I said it to rebuttal you like you can't come at me if you're doing the same thing. That's what I mean today. You don't know what you talk about. I came at it as like you can't come at me if you're doing the same thing. <laughs> you don't know don't what you do. Listen, listen. I was the wrong Listen, no, listen to me. I was the wrong. I Listen, I was, I was, I was the. Nine to five to all. Get a degree or say a here. She's just in her own world at this point. These are the type of women that you guys want to stay away from. The ones that can never listen. Sixty-three percent of you are from single mother homes. Ninety percent of homelessness and runaway children are from single mother homes. You can't homes. put that on the Five percent of no. children who show behavioral disorders are from single mother homes. Eighty percent of with anger problems are from single mother homes. 71% of high school, high school dropouts are from single mother homes. 80% of all the youths that are in prison are from single mother homes. This is why being a father is a really important job because it can save a life. Um, have you ever cheated? Yes. 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 Many times. All the time. I have. Yes. Why? Because we're bad and we need to show the world that we're bad And these are the same type of women that would get depressed if their man even looked at another woman. Man, this some... You not happy? No, I'm not happy. Did you like... What the f*** is good about this situation? I'm your side. Yeah, baby, when I was with you, the kind broke, and I've been messing with dude for mad long, and you know that, and never got pregnant, but when you come back around, I get pregnant. It's it's not dude's baby. Man, f*** out of here, man. Like... You acting crazy. Stop so. recording me. You gonna piss nah, me off? No, fuck that. Sh no, nah, fuck it's a serious situation. Stop recording me. Of course, it's a Where serious situation. Motherfucker, your side and trying to say that I got you pregnant, and you got it at the crib. Like, is you crazy? So the c didn't break. Like now you think I'm a joke. Stop f on that, cause that's that's yo what? Goofy. Let me see that pregnancy test. No, that's you fake as you goofy. You, you trying to pull a prank on me? You you goofy. No, you see, no, just, no, no, smell it. Why the f I no. put my nose on yeah, it? Get the off this. Let me make sure no, this. Get the let out me, here, let me make sure this. Make sure this. Let me make sure this. Ain't marker. He said, shut up. We'll go rinse it and we're going to buy another one tomorrow. And you're going to be at the first doctor's appointment screaming, baby daddy. Wow, this really pregnant, bro. I'm going to be screaming, baby daddy. You're not. You really not happy? You're not happy. She's acting like this is not gonna affect the guy she has at home. Have a heart for crying out loud. Yeah, I think with guys, when we see a girl with a lot of options, I think it's the opposite. I think we aren't attracted to that. It's just like, I uh, like that's true. yeah, like if you think about like, if you see in the club VIP section, he got mad girls around him, girls gonna be like, dang, he that But if it's opposite, a female got a VIP section, and it's all uh -huh. like, oh, she ran through it. Yeah, so, 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 so we will look at her like, uh, it could be easy. Could be some easy poem, but we would never oh, we don't look at her that. like any wifey type of. Why do a whole bunch of guys? That's yeah, it seems like maybe you homie hopping or something. This is just how men are hardwired. We don't want a woman who is hopping from man to man. Trauma hurts women. Trauma builds men. Trauma yeah. makes women more masculine. Trauma Just... makes men, if he overcomes that trauma, think about it. If you, if any of you ladies, no, 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 listen. If any of you ladies PTSD go through trauma, be real. listen, 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 listen. Speak, this fact's right here, no fugazi. If any of you ladies go through trauma, <laughs> in order for you to overcome it, it's gonna make you a little bit more masculine. It's there, you have to be a little bit more worrisome to figure this out, more direct now, a bit more assertive, maybe a little bit more dominant so you don't go through those traumas that you went through before, which is a making you more masculine get what I'm saying so men when we go through stuff the masculinity it suits us nice so when we overcome traumas it builds that man it builds the character the more things that a man experienced that he overcame the more and more attractive he is it's facts mm -hmm. I think I see where you're going because I do believe that that is my problem in relationships I honestly believe that I've been through so much I believe that I'm more at the end of the day, guys, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. If you convince your girlfriend's dad that you want to marry her, I'll buy you whatever you want. Uh, okay, how are you doing? Um, hello? Hello? Um, can I marry your daughter? Why, why can I marry your daughter? Bro, well, just let me smash. We're not breaking up, bro. I'm gonna smash either way. Stop playing. I'm gonna smash either way. 
That is crazy to say to her dad. Yo. Well, that relationship is gone all over some money. The more educated she is, the more difficult she'll be to date. Why would it be more difficult to date an educated woman? That doesn't even make sense. Because she's, she's, she's more knowledgeable. knowledgeable. Yeah. yeah. Her mind like is you more just adult. Adult. You said because she's more knowledgeable, right? Mm -hmm. All right, why is that a problem? Most men, they like to take advantage. So the dumber you are, the easier mm -hmm. he is to manipulate you. So you know what I mean? Exactly. Insane, you're not, you're not even saying why her education is making her difficult. You're saying why why the man is difficult because she's educated. Because I can't trick her. Because <laughs> I can't trick her. <laughs> that, that she's going to challenge you. Yeah, that's and it. that's the and problem. That's, 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 why is that a problem? Like, yeah, why is that a problem? Educated women always belittle men, especially if they feel like their education level is higher than they, they man. That's true. Like, they talking them like they dummies. Mm -hmm. And educated women have a very much I don't need you attitude. Because they really don't. don't. Yeah. And you know what a I don't need you attitude does to a relationship? Just kills it. That last line is important because a lot of women love to say that they don't need a man, but that is the attitude that is killing a relationship. She just graduated today. I graduated really? today. Yeah. <laughs> what, what'd you get? Oh, I got my bachelor's and I'm 21. So you got your bachelor's at 21. That's very impressive. What'd you get your bachelor's in? UTRGV? Oh, I mean, where? <laughs> no, what, like, what's your degree in? My degree, I'm a certified to teach. Oh, dope. We need, we need good teachers out there, guys. I don't know, I might start a <laughs> instead. You might start in a <laughs> instead? I'll make more money as a <laughs> That's when you know, when you're making more money doing a than a teacher. That's how it is yeah. right now. Yeah. Times are tough. I think teachers need higher pay. Yeah, they, yeah, they do. For sure. And we can have more people teaching instead of doing hands. She might have to once all of the schools see this video. Hard, like once you have what you have and you are who you are to meet a, to meet a female who you can like trust and- hey, Check this out. I went on a date with this girl one time. Might have been in like Chicago or something like that. We went on a date. I got to the, got to the spot, right? We were just sitting at the bar waiting for our table, getting drinks, whatever. She opened up her phone. The last thing she had on her phone was Aaron Gordon's network. You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying, You feel me? I was like, yo, this is wild, yo. That was a huge warning and good on him for acting on it. Everything you know. You're being trespassed. I'm being trespassed? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you want to take my name? Yes, please. Cool. Do you have an ID on you? Yeah, I'm ID. <laughs> That's all you need? That's it. And then where are the border lines from where I can, so I can go like right there, right? Right on the sidewalk or no, like literally. Go yeah, I can't go in the gas station vicinity, no, right? Huh? Yeah. yeah gas where, where are the border lines I'm asking? The end of the driveway. The end of the pole. So I can driveway. literally go 20 feet away and I can go live right there? See the driveway? Did you hear what I said? I can go 20 feet away and I can go live no, right no, there no, and continue? Did you hear what I said? Yeah. See the end of the driveway? Yeah. That's where you can go. Okay, so I'm gonna go 20 feet away and continue well, to go live in like 10 how, seconds. I think 20 feet's like almost to my car, but. That's more like All right, cool. 60 feet. Here's my Another ID. Go ahead and trespass me. When you're done uh, trespassing me, let me know. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. <laughs> Just stream at home. I don't understand why he's doing that how long have y'all been together man going on four years yeah do y'all trust each other 100 yes oh for sure maybe test the theory sure <laughs> swap phones yeah y'all too yeah swap phones is that fine yeah yeah i don't know <laughs> something on uh, snapchat what are we doing find, find oh. her snapchat yeah where's your snapchat okay, hold on. I gotta... whoa whoa what do you got no do? i gotta Yeah, she gotta be high. Oh, I don't know what she's on. Think about it. That's weird. Ain't hey. hey. that weird? It might be. I don't know. It might be. She's a little sus. I'm but this is your wife. Why is she acting no, like this? No, hold on. If you're willing to give her your phone, and she act like this, like, what are you doing? What's Y'all done? Please tell me it wasn't the wife. Married couples use each other's phones all the time, so this is definitely shocking to see. This morning, my fiance told me I looked beautiful, and I literally just rolled my eyes and started to tear up because I feel like when you have acne, no one else's words 
matter. Like if I'm not feeling confident and if I'm not feeling beautiful, I do not believe what you're saying. And it just sucks because the one person I love and the one person that I'm trying to impress is saying things to me, the things that I want to hear. And I just don't care. I literally just don't care. And the only thing that makes me feel better and the only thing that dictates my happiness is clear skin which I don't have. Sometimes compliments just don't have a big effect on a person and those people usually get them all of the time. I like low key, I like introverted, I like yeah. feminine. I don't like girls who party or club or anything like that. Yeah. I like girls who have some substance, some depth. They like to do things like we can kick it in the yeah. crib all day. Wait, no. Really? Mm -hmm. Dude, have you seen my You no. haven't, but like it's on Google, but like it's nice. Well, I don't dispute that, but I wouldn't I just can't. It's just a turn off for me. These girls have it completely twisted. It's not all about what you can do in bed. There is more to it. What is one thing that you've never told your ex? Don't worry, you can tell us. I don't know if I can name drop, but probably like the amount or like the celebrities that I've been with because he was always very like insecure about that. And so I never told him. I played it off like they were just friends. Were you ever with like one of his favorite celebrities? Well, he found out about one of them. I have like a video with Tyga that oh. went viral and now he can't listen to Tyga's music anymore to this day, even though we've been broken up for like two years. So that's funny. Oh my gosh. I don't blame the dude. I wouldn't be able to listen to his music in years either. She was not happy at all, but to be completely fair, it was a goal. When men make money, they say, damn, this is awesome. Now I can provide for a family. They want to. Right. They want to. When women make money, they say, I'm independent of men. Think of all the girls that say, I'm strong and independent. I don't need no man. I'm a boss, baby. That's what girls do. When, when women have money and they're successful, they say, all right, yes, I'm free from men. When men make money and are successful, they say, damn, I can get girls and I can support them. So we look at money very differently. I've always said that women are terrible provisioners. They're not comfortable with providing security and provisioning to a man. Men, on the other hand, are okay with providing provisioning and security to a woman. Women, when they make money, it's their money. When a man makes money, it's our money. That's how a lot of relationships operate. This is exactly why you need to work for yourself because nobody else will. Who cheats more, girls or guys? Guys. Guys, why? Because they're stupid as Have you ever got cheated on before? No. So how do you know? You win the cheater. <laughs> she win the cheater. So she's the cheater who's never been cheated on and still claims that guys cheat more. This is the queen of hypocrisy over here. At that point, you might as well have just stayed at home and watched it. If you're selling pictures of your online on an app, of course, people are going to offer their opinion on that. The vast majority of the public doesn't agree with it. I think most only traders that do that as a job understand that it is detrimental to a healthy relationship with a man. I mean, maybe some lib, left-leaning, progressive, sort of blue hair dude will be okay with it. But the traditional guy that she's going to be attracted to, the strong mask and virtue sort of guy that she wants, is going to frown upon it. And I think inherently, these creators, these only know that it's just not right at all it's gonna be really hard to find a good man that's fine with that for a couple yeah how long two years okay. an amazing two years mm -hmm. yeah what has made that two years so amazing that's all you honestly it's just been the chemistry she can finish my sentences, sentences. I just did <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i didn't even realize oh god, that that's crazy okay. in a relationship how important is trust on a scale of one to ten seven yeah. yeah, I was gonna go with the, like a six, but it's not important. Seven. You guys are exclusive to each Monogamous. other. Monogamous. You are. Yes. Okay. You guys trust each other? Hell yeah. Yeah. You do. Okay. So if you guys trust each other so much, why don't you guys do a loyalty test and swap your phones? Oh. All right. So let's check your Snapchat. That's Shane. Shane's not me. I'll tell you that. Who's Joel? I don't know. I mean, Joel there's no face. That's there. my brother. All right. Let's go to her Instagram. Check her Instagram quick. Let's make sure she's not cheating on you. Are you what? cheating on me? Not yet. Hell, oh, oh. G. No, no, I would never. She I got a lot of DMs. She got a lot of DMs. Let's get in there. Get in there. Oh my god. I do. I, I, Holy. Oh! Who's it? Joshua. Joshua. Who's Joshua? Right, Who's Joshua? Now we're gonna walk away, guys. Oh. <laughs> yo, not valid, not valid, not valid. Hey, yo, what did Joshua do and why is he on her phone? I pull back my covers and this is what I see on women. Now, this may be mine, but this 
Ain't no way this could be mine. <laughs> this can't fit not no, no, one no, of my. That won't work out. <laughs> not that won't one. Work out. Mr. Flanori, what is your response to that accusation? Okay, I bought the un underwear at a gray store. For her? Yes, for her. I got the wrong size. Yeah, that's the only thing I'm guilty of of getting the now, wrong size. Hold up that again. Do you want to get wrong? You know, you cannot mean to tell me you thought that would fit your wife. I believe this guy. Maybe he left his glasses at home that day. A lot of things will be hard for you to comprehend. That's why you're in because you can't offer value in the marketplace. What the? Don't worry, I'm not really talking to you. I'm speaking against you as a symbol. A symbol of what? A symbol of a declining society where people gotcha. lack values. Mm -hmm. So the point is this. If you had IQ and skills mm -hmm. to offer to the marketplace, gotcha. you can earn a good income. Being that the most valuable thing about you is mm -hmm. something that you never earned. You didn't earn knowledge. You didn't earn skills. It's your breasts that you paid for and your so you market that to earn money, which is to say, if I took your brain and placed your brain into a man's body, you would be in poverty. I'm just good for nothing. Yep, you can't. No, you are good for something. That's why you have a and that's my point is that that's what you're good for. It seems to me like she just couldn't handle the truth. Are you guys together? Uh, kind of, yeah. Kind of? How long have you guys met together? Uh, we met probably like a month. A month ago? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So like, are you guys loyal to each other or not yet? Uh, yeah, I'm loyal. What about you? Are you loyal? Yeah, a little bit. Do you think she's loyal? Yeah, I would say. Would you guys mind doing like a little loyalty test for the video real quick? Uh, I guess she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to, but what do you think she doesn't want to though? Uh, I don't know. But why? Why don't you want to? No. No, uh, just uh, would you do it? No, nah, it's cool. Uh, you guys have a good day. I right, think. Bro is definitely in denial right now. Rest in peace. And they always say that women can't let go of the past. This right here is hard evidence. Men usually when they cheat, they start to feel a bit of guilt. So they're nicer to their wife. They're a bit nicer. They might buy her something. They might be a bit more grateful. Like, you know, you're a ride or die. Like, poor girl, if she knew what I was doing, let me be nice to her. Women, what they want to do to get rid of that dissonance of what they're actually engaging in is they start putting their husband down. They start thinking, my husband's such an idiot. He's so dumb. So what happens is by putting him down, they feel less guilty about going somewhere else. They justify it in their brain. The treatment is different. The guilt is greater when a man is cheating on a woman. This says a lot about both men and women, but at least with a man, he treats you better. When it comes to three-year-old Kanaya, yeah. Michael, are. you are not the And when it comes to Elijah, you are the father, Michael. You, you are, are not the father. <laughs> Something's telling me that this won't be the last time that this happens. No, they're not about to come in his room, bro. Yo, you're scandalous as f bro. How am I scandalous? This, this whole thing is set up. Hold this shit, bro. All right, look, so the whole time, time Don reached bro. out to me because he wanted to put you on a loyalty test because he felt like you was just being disloyal to him for I'm a lot of reasons. Disloyal to you? This, this is what this is right now. What the f talk about this whole time? Wait a minute. You are telling me right now that you set something like this up and then put me on the pedestal for my career, too? What the f you think? Yes. Why? <laughs> You're not trustworthy, bro. What the f are you talking about? I am, no. What do you mean? How am I not trustworthy? I watched the sh for f time. So you f this. I did because you consented it on the phone. What about like last night? You texted me and literally just are you slow. Me. No, I'm not slow. Are you slow? You f my friend. Whatever. You deceitful, bro. We I told you. We, we literally heard everything from up here. If you can see, we like watching everything that y'all doing. So we heard, you, seasful, bro. we heard you confess and say that. You're dirty as He just a decoy. He does not own his house. Everything was set up. You're dirty as You feel dirty as I don't believe what you're saying. 
anybody would even do this. You feel me. dirty and stupid, don't you? No, I don't feel dirty and stupid. I just can't believe. That's something like, dirty no, and stupid should say no, right there. Because you have like this whole fucking crew set up. You're just like putting on a show yourself right now. And you this whole time no, you've been I acting this whole time. This You're scandalous, so, man. And then like, why are the cameras still rolling? You set this fake photographer up, and then like these dudes all in the background to get me with the mic that's like picking up on me. Type of. Shit. Don't feel stupid though. She's still trying to gaslight him, even though he told her he was watching the whole time. This is just crazy. Whatever helps you sleep at night, I guess. He just needed to make sure that she was respecting their relationship. She's not the best at communicating, and this long distance thing is getting hard, so he wanted to make sure it's worth it. I said, bet that. What's her at? He gave it to me and said, try to get her number or something. If she gives it to you, I'm done. I swear to God. I got to work. All right, so it turns out I already followed his girl. I had seen her on social media. She was cute, so I'd already followed her. We were following each other, but I'd never DM'd her or hit her up. To get her attention, I started liking a bunch of her posts. She started returning the likes, so I figured now was the perfect time to shoot my shot. Since we had been following each other for a while, I didn't want to use a corny pickup line, so I went in sort of casual. I threw her some hard eyes and I said, hey. She said, hi. I asked her where she was from. She said, St. Louis, Missouri. How about you? I told her I was from Richmond, Virginia. Then I asked her what St. Louis is like in the summer. She said, it's very, very fun. We go to Cardinals games and the lake. I work on the weekends, though. I do bottle service. Honestly, that should have been the first red flag right there. I said, that sounds nice and not a bottle. Bottle girl, I know every dude in the club probably tries to hit on you. She said, not every dude, but yeah, I get hit on a lot. It's a part of the job. The money is great though. I said, I bet. If I'm ever in St. Louis, I'm definitely sliding to your club. She said, of course, you should come get a section. I'll be a personal bottle girl. She must've had me confused with Drake or something. I don't know. I said, section? That sounds expensive. I'd rather save that money and take you out on a few dates. She said, very smooth. You're sweet though. How old are you? I said, I'm 23. How about you? I forgot to ask her boyfriend how old she was. So I lied about my age and just hoped that I was close enough. She said, wow. Wow, you look older. I'm 25. I told her I'm mature for my age and I prefer older women. She said, do you? What makes you so mature? I said, I just feel like my mindset is a lot different than my friends, peers, and those around me. The city where I'm from is a lot of going out and drama in general, but I've really just been focused and chilling because none of that is productive. I be bullshit. Uh, I really do. <laughs> she said, wow, you do sound mature. And I'm the same way. I work at a club, so I don't need to be outside like that in my free time. I told her I was trying to move this conversation out the DMs. What's your number? She gave it to me. At this point, I had gotten the number like he asked, so it was time to tell her boyfriend. I sent him the screenshots of our messages and said she gave it to me. All he said was bet. I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm guessing it was serious. She hasn't said anything else or unfollowed me yet, so I'm guessing he hasn't confronted her. We'll see if anything else happens. But we definitely found another one for the streets. Y'all stay safe out there. Sadly, long distance seems like an extremely hard thing to do, especially nowadays. I don't want him. That happened once. I want to be with you. No, you do want to be. Me. No, she don't. No, she don't, Jerry. She don't want to be. I love me. you, Trey. And you worried about this dude right here, man, with the receiving hairline to the back, man, looking like <laughs> can't get naked. Are you kidding me? Obviously, you something's me. right. Yeah, Obviously, something's something right. right. She really ruined her relationship for Mr. McDonald's hairline. That is crazy. When I was 16 or 17, I cheated on my boyfriend at the time. And the guilt that consumed me from cheating on him when I was drunk at 16 or 17 was awful. And I lied and I lied and I lied and I lied about it. And it was only two years ago that I actually reached out to him and I was like, yes, I did cheat on you. Because he accused me of it for years and I would see him out in bars like three or four years later and he would say, I know you cheated on me with X. And I'd be like, no, I didn't, no, I didn't. And then I finally admitted it and he's like, oh, it's fine, you know, it was years ago we were kids. But what I wanna say is if you have a pattern of cheating, it is not a fun place to live because there is secrecy and lies and what comes with that is a low vibration of guilt and shame. And I'm not here to play a moral high ground. I'm not here to throw down the religious card at you and be like, you are sinning. Not at all. It's just around how it feels within us when we're out of integrity is really icky, right? It's really icky. And I've been on both sides of the coin where I've been cheated on and I have cheated and I've also been the other woman. So like I have a view vantage point from all three of those. And what I'll say is if it's out of integrity with our alignment and we can't communicate clearly what is going on to the people that we love, we're gonna constantly feel stuck. Eventually the lies and the guilt are gonna catch up to you. Remember that. In this paternity limbo. Yeah. 
going from place to place and home to home. He doesn't know who his father is because his mother doesn't know who his father is. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Davis, if this child is yours, you're going to step up for this baby? Yes, ma'am, most certainly. Mr. Hudson, are you going to step up if this child ends up being yours? Yes, ma'am. All right, let's go to the results. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Hudson versus Bridges, when it comes to three-year-old Ja'Cory Hudson, pertaining to whether his biological father is Mr. Hudson or Mr. Davis, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Hudson, you are not his father. <laughs> In the case of Hudson versus Bridges, when it comes to three-year-old Ja'Cory Hudson, Mr. Davis, you are not his father. <laughs> She should feel ashamed of herself. She brought two guys to the court, and neither one of them were the father. I wish luck to that child. Okay, so if you're gonna cheat, she's not gonna come home at four o'clock in the morning. And, oh, I was out with the homies. None of that. She's gonna come on at a regular time. She's gonna cook your dinner. Your clothes. Are gonna, everything that was supposed to be done is gonna be done. So yeah, she's pretty spot on with that. The reason that men get caught is because you know we break our patterns, and I look at it like this. You and your girl are walking this road together, holding hands. This is your relationship and you're just walking forward, walking forward to the future. There are at all times in this woman's life, because this is pretty much all women's life, there are going to be men that are extending their hand constantly as she walks this road with you. Now, she, if you have a good woman, has to ignore all these hands, but don't get it twisted. They are always extended. So she has to focus on you and focus on the path ahead. And you got yourself a good But if she's going to cheat, how convenient is that? All she has to do is grab that extended hand, hop off the road for a second, she'll hop right, right back on it, and you'll be like, oh, okay. Like, she didn't break much patterns. Like, it wouldn't really set off too much, you know, alarms. But when we do it, it's more like we went off into the woods, and she's like, where were you? We're supposed to be on this road together. Wow, so now you can't even tell if your partner is cheating. Why does it have to be like this?